my name is Julie Faith Ann Balzer and I'm here with Scan and Cut 2 and I'm going to show you how scan to cut data works. So I have a drawing here, just a doodle that I did onto a piece of paper and I put it into my photo scanning mat which is a non-adhesive mat. I simply slip it under the plastic. Then I'm going to open the dust cover on my machine and I'm going to load it straight into the machine. Once the machine has loaded the mat, I'm gonna choose scan and I'm gonna choose scan to cut data. Now you can see here the recognition mode is RGB or color, but this is a black and white drawing. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch the tools and I'm gonna choose grayscale because I have that black and white drawing. So once that's done, I'm gonna press start and it's going to go ahead and scan the design in and turn it into cut data. So once it comes up, I have a couple different options here. I can choose the outline detection, I can choose the region detection, which does both sides of the line, or I can choose line detection. So my most used is the region detection. I really like the way that that cuts because it looks exactly like the drawing when it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the handles just to get the cleanest possible scan. I wanna make sure to not catch the edge of the paper or anything like that. And once I have those drawn in, I'm gonna go ahead and press save. Now the machine is gonna give me four different options for saving. I can save it into the machine, I can save it to USB, I can save it to a PC via USB cable, or I can save it wirelessly to scan and cut canvas online. We're gonna go ahead and save it into the machine just like so, and it's gonna tell me the name of it. So once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and unload my mat and we're ready to cut. So I have some cardstock loaded on here and it is a gently used piece of cardstock. I have a lot of these in my craft room and I'm sure that you do too. From the home screen, I'm gonna go ahead and choose pattern and then I'm gonna go into my save data and I can take it from the machine, from a USB or from a, my PC via USB cable. And I'm gonna go ahead into the machine, grab my file, there it is. I'm gonna hit okay. Now I need to scan in this piece of paper to make sure that I'm gonna place my cut file exactly where I want it. And look, it's exactly where I want it. I don't have to move it or resize it or do anything. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit OK. I could either draw it or cut it. I'm going to cut it and I've already set my blade properly to cut cardstock. Once that's done, I'm gonna press start and we're gonna be off to the races. Once it's finished cutting, I can unload the mat, I can pull away the excess paper, and then using my spatula tool, I can pull off that beautiful cut. And if you look back at my original drawing, you'll see that it looks exactly like that. All of my wonky drawn lines, everything like that has translated over to a cut file. Now let's say you actually have an existing die cut of some kind. The good news is you can place it right into your photo scanning mat and you can scan it in and then you can resize it, change it, adjust it any way that you want. You really can see it, scan it, and cut it with absolutely anything. But one of the things I wanna show you now is how you can take intricate clip art. So look at this really cool clip art that we have here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna load it right into my machine. And once it's loaded, I'm gonna to go to the home screen. And from the home screen, I'm going to choose scan. And once again, I'm gonna choose scan to cut data. Press start and the machine is gonna take it in and begin to transform this over to cut data. Now I have two images on here, and what I actually wanna do is I just wanna take the lower image with the red. So I am just adjusting using the arrow tools, just dragging them in to cut out the writing, the other image, everything, and just cl get close on exactly what I want. Once I'm set, I'm gonna hit OK, and the machine is gonna take a moment to recognize the image. Once it's been recognized, I can choose between outline or region, and I think region is what we want for this. So the other option, which you can see here, is you can limit the amount of colors. So for instance, this is only a two color image, so I can go ahead and bring it down to two colors, hit preview, and I will see my nice scan. There it is, and the dark lines are exactly where we're going to cut, and you can see that it's perfectly captured this intricate bit of clip art. 
So once I'm satisfied, I'm gonna go ahead, hit OK, hit Save, and once again, we'll get our four options for saving into the machine, to USB, to our PC via USB cable, or wirelessly to scan and cut canvas online. We're gonna go ahead and save it right into the machine. And it will tell us exactly what it's saved as, and then we can simply eject this mat and put in a mat for some cutting. So I have loaded some vinyl onto here, which I think is a really cool surface to cut, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in. It does require a blade adjustment, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the blade out of the machine, and I've been cutting vinyl at a two, that's what's been working for my machine, so that's how I'm gonna adjust it. Pop the blade right back into the machine with the Brother logo facing me, and then I'm ready to go ahead to the home screen and grab the file that we created. So as you'll recall, we saved it into the machine, not to USB and not to our PC via USB cable. So here in the machine, I can see my image right there. I'm gonna hit OK, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a background scan now to make sure that I place it perfectly on on my vinyl. Ah, it fits perfectly, so I can hit OK. I can either draw it or I can cut it, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and press Start. Now, I've calibrated my blade at that too so that it will only cut through the vinyl and not through the backing sheet. Once the vinyl has finished cutting, I can go ahead and unload the mat, and remember that I calibrated the machine so that it wouldn't cut through the backing, only through the vinyl. And now, when you cut vinyl, you need to do a process called weeding. And that essentially means you need to peel away the portions of the vinyl that you don't want. So once a piece is fully weeded, it looks a little something like this, and you can see how beautiful it would be to decorate any kind of project. So remember, scan to cut data is a great function for taking any design, an intricate piece of clip art, something you've drawn yourself, an existing die cut, and turning it into cut data. See it, scan it, cut it, create it.